Hi, I wanted to make a short uh, little video of the uh, France oil thermostat uh, installation on my RANS S20 with a Rotax 914 engine. Um, it's hard to imagine one that uh, could have been uh, better designed or easier to install than what I had, but uh, I did have to make a few adjustments and uh, walk through how it installs and where the adjustments were. So uh, the oil cooler is in the original location uh, right behind my prop and uh, in my old uh, or my first installation uh, the um, fittings on the top of the cooler are vertical so this uh, feed line from the uh, oil reservoir came straight down into the top uh, looks like I got two hands here with the reflection on the spinner but it came straight down into the uh, into the into the cooler uh, was not thermostatically controlled came straight out the top did a 180 degree turn and I went back uh, around and into the uh, oil pump which sits in behind the uh, France uh, thermostat bolts very nicely right on top of the uh, radiator oil cooler and instead of uh, attaching to your uh, hose fittings uh, in the vertical here uh, they uh, attach right on the end there which in my case turned out to be super simple uh, i actually wound up uh, being able to cut uh, about four inches out of this line here that goes uh, to my uh, to my oil tank um, and it kept the hose a little farther away from the cowling and uh, away from the uh, the air inlet here at the front uh, there were a couple of uh, install issues with it uh, one is that uh, this was fouling on my inside of my cowl, so I had to just mill this down a little bit around the edge there just to give room uh, for the cowling. I had to do that on both sides. And the other issue is that the uh, nuts that are on the top of the oil cooler that are brazed or soldered in place uh, did not have enough uh, clearance for those uh, screws that uh, clamp it down uh, onto the radiator, so I had to... Uh, after installing it, uh, take it off and uh, take a file to the uh, to the corners of those uh, those uh, nuts. There, you can't turn those nuts; they're brazed or soldered onto the radiator itself. And uh, perhaps if I'd been more lucky, there would have been a flat showing up where the uh, screw wanted to protrude through. But uh, in my case, it was at the absolute widest spot, so that turned out to be a bit of an issue, but uh, not one that a file wouldn't fix. So uh, that's about it. It's a super clean install. Um, I cut a little bit of hose out, uh, added very little weight, and um, well, uh, stand by for a, a performance review. It's had its leak check already, so I'm just waiting for the uh, minus a million uh, weather to uh, lighten up here in Calgary. We'll take it for a flight test and uh, maybe make a quick video on the, uh, on the results of uh, thermostatically controlling the oil temp. What I'm hoping to get out of it is um, is not having to wait at the end of the runway for uh, the oil temperature to come up to the Rotex uh, minimum spec of 120 Fahrenheit. As it is now, uh, the coolant temperature, which is also thermostatically controlled, an awesome little unit called a Thermo Bob, um, I get uh, cabin heat within a few minutes, much faster than I ever would with an air-cooled engine. Uh, but uh, so I taxi out in uh, warm comfort and then I wait at the end of the runway for the uh, the oil temp to come up. Hopefully this will uh, solve that problem when uh, there's a 190 degree uh, set point in the in the uh, the control unit that's uh, buried in here. So when uh, we have oil temperatures of less than 190, the oil just whistles straight through here and back to the pump and completely bypasses the uh, the radiator. So um, I'm hoping I get uh, faster warm up of oil temps so that by the time I get to the end of the runway, uh, we're ready to go. Right now, on days, uh, on cold days, um, I'm waiting for several minutes at the end of the runway after all the pre-flight uh, checks are done just for the oil temp to come up. Anyway, I'll post the results when I get them and uh, stay tuned.